Christmas 2021 is done and in the books. Everybody's fed, everybody's open gifts, and everybody's just kind of like in this state of, ah, I think most of us want to take a nap. <laughs> I am super pleased overall with how Christmas went. It was a lot of fun and I really enjoyed hosting in our home and I look forward to making that a tradition that we carry forward every year. I still have one gift to open, and that is Day 25 from the Jenny's Countdown to Christmas from Missouri Star, and we'll get to that in just a minute. I also want to show you blocks 10, 11, and 12. I actually got them finished from the Katrinkles Advent Calendar, but I want to give you just a couple of updates. First of all, this is the end of Vlogmas 2021. After today, there are no more daily updates from me. <laughs> And I'm going to shift back to my normal content. I am going to add in a weekly vlog or video, just kind of sharing the journey and progress as well as a small tutorial about how I'm doing on my journey for better health in 2022. For those of you that aren't tracking this, let me just run this down for you really quick. In 2022, from January 1 through December 31st, I am going to go on a journey where I am monitoring my calorie intake and my exercise, and I am going to document how well I did compared to my plan in a six inch finished quilt block. Originally, that six inch block was going to be a four patch, but then I started thinking I wanted something that was going to be more than just a bunch of squares on the quilt. I wanted to be able to see the pattern jump out at me. So I started thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I had arrows somehow? And then I realized I could. I could use some flying geese blocks. So I've changed the block from a four patch to a six inch finished block that's going to consist of two flying geese units, each finishing at three inches by six inches. One will represent food, the other will represent exercise, and they're going to point up if I did well, down if I didn't. So you could have blocks where they're both pointing in the same direction or they're pointing in opposite directions. And that's going to add a little bit of movement to the quilt because reality is I'm not going to hit my goal and stay on track every week for all of 2022. There's going to be some weeks where one's going to be better than the other or both are going to be horrible. The nice thing about doing this flying geese unit is you can modify the pattern slightly to represent what your journey is. So if your habit tracker is something you want to do for every day for a period of time, maybe not the entire year, and you only want to track one thing, you can just start building flying geese that are going in the direction they need to go. But you can also modify the block to have multiple flying geese units three, four, five, whatever works for you, and you can define the interval for how often you're making those blocks. I will be making them once a week because I feel like committing to doing more blocks than just once a week is probably going to be something I can't keep up with in 2022. Hey, real quick, Becca from the future here. I was editing the video and I realized I forgot to tell you this. Those flying geese units are not going to be difficult to put together and I will be creating a nice edited video that will go onto my channel that will walk you through how to make a flying geese unit Real, real simple. Now, spoiler alert, the method that I show you is not going to be the most efficient use of your fabric, but it will get the job done. And you'll even have some scrap half square triangle units that you can put into another project. As for fabric in Vlogmas, I've mentioned that I was just going to grab like four fabrics and I was going to keep everything real simple. It was going to be one color to represent food, one color to represent exercise, then my background and my borders and sashing. And I started thinking about that. I don't know if that's actually going to be true for me. I think I'm going to still stick with a low volume background and I probably will stick with a darker color for some sashing and maybe some borders and maybe a really pretty pop of color for the cornerstone. But for the flying geese bodies, those triangles themselves, I think I might dig into a fat quarter bundle that I have been wanting to work with. Something bright and cheerful with a lot of colors. That's going to do two things for me. The first one is it's going to add a lot of color to my quilt and give it a lot of visual interest. And the second one is as I start stepping into some of the goals that I'm going to have for myself along the way, I've mentioned I want to create goal blocks. 
And this will allow me to have a variety of different fabrics and colors that I can introduce into the quilt when I make those special blocks. Don't worry. If that's not something you want to do, you don't have to. Those special gold blocks are totally optional. You can just stick with the flying geese units and you can make them the same color or one color for food, one color for exercise, or if you're doing three different habits that you're tracking, you can have three different colors, whatever works for you. This program is totally adaptable. The whole point of it is that you are just taking some time to hold yourself accountable to whatever better health journey that you are taking and 2022 and making a visual representation of how you did so you can put it into a quilt and go back and reflect on it. The other thing I want to make sure that you're tracking is on Sunday, January 2nd, 2022 at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, Kristen from Scrap Fabric Love will be live for one hour with me right on this channel. Now, if you guys haven't been paying attention to the other videos, and this is the first time you're hearing about the Becca's Blocks to Better Health in 2022 that I'm doing, you need to know that Kristen is really the inspiration behind this project for me. She is doing a weight loss quilt over on her channel, has been doing it for a little while, and has already lost some weight. I'm not doing a weight loss quilt. Instead, I'm doing more of a habit tracker quilt just to talk about my better health habits. I'm going to let the weight loss be the secondary thing that happens as a result of new lifestyle decisions. We're both kind of doing the same thing, but we're taking a different approach. Hers is very much focused on this is how much I ate, this is how many minutes I exercised, and this is how much I lost. And that's what her quilt looks like. During our live stream on Sunday, January 2nd at 3 p.m., we'll talk a little bit about what inspired her to bring this into reality, how she's doing, what she's doing, and we'll talk about what I'm doing as well. I don't want to tell you that you have to follow her program or you have to follow mine. There are no rules. Follow a version of the program that works for you. It might be what I'm doing. It might be what Kristen's doing. It might be something completely different. But regardless of what that may be, one thing Kristen is trying to do is build a community where we can support each other, encourage each other, and build each other up. And that's something I really want to get on board with too. So even if you're not sewing the blocks, making sure that you're subscribed to the channel and checking in with me once a week to see how I'm doing will help me a ton. And if you take a minute to subscribe to her channel and check in with her on a daily or weekly basis to make sure that she knows that you're cheering her on, that'll help her as well. I will link her channel in the first comment down below this video. I'll also put it up here somewhere. So make sure you hop over and subscribe if you haven't done that already today. Two more announcements. I'm almost done, I promise you. But I got to get all these out because there are no more daily video updates. <laughs> So if you've been around the channel for a little bit, you know I go live every Friday night at 8 p.m. with a live sewing event or a collab with some other content creators right here on my channel. I wasn't live on Christmas Eve because I took the night off to spend it with family and friends, but I will be live again on December 31st at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. There will not be a project that we're going to sew together, so it'll be a UFO night. Bring in something that you want to work on of your own. I will be joined by several content creators just like I did when we did the Jelly Roll Race back in November. Some of the faces from that Jelly Roll Race will be live with us on New Year's Eve, and we may have some new faces as well. So you'll want to mark your calendars for that live stream. I don't know how long it'll last. I try to keep my lives to an hour and a half, two hours, maybe a little bit more if I really need to. So probably like the 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. time frame, but you're welcome to stop in at any point and stay for as long as you'd like. The last thing I want to share is the Quilter Studio update. Work is supposed to resume on Monday, and it should wrap by Friday. Everything should be done in there except for the windows. We'll see if that happens. Once the studio is set up and running, I will do a tour and walk you through the space. I really had hoped to be able to give that to you during Vlogmas, and had some of the crew members not gotten sick, maybe I would have been able to do that. But things happen, and we have to be flexible with it. So you'll get a special treat sometime next week or the week after walking you through the new studio. Stay tuned for that. 
All right, it's time to dive into our final Christmas gift. I almost don't want to open it because then it means Christmas is over this year and this is my favorite time of the year. But I must say, I am hoping that day 25 from 2021 is a whole lot better than day 25 from 2018. Let me show you what I mean. Let's dig into today's item and see what we've got. We've got Jenny's bracelet. If you guys have seen any of Jenny's tutorials, you have definitely seen this bracelet. Check that out. And I have big fat wrists, so let's see if it can even get, ah, it won't fit my wrist. Boo. <laughs> Look guys, do you like my bracelet? <laughs> Okay, I won't lie, I'm super excited to get this bracelet, but I'm also super disappointed that it comes in one size and they didn't take some of the bigger girls into account. Um, I can't get it past this part of my hand. Uh, most people probably could wear this though, so uh, that's sad because this is probably the one item in the box that makes all of this worthwhile. I remember recording that video and I knew I was either going to cry or laugh and I chose to just laugh hysterically. It was horrible. As soon as I opened that package, I knew that bracelet was not going to fit me. And I was a little frustrated because at the time Jenny was a bigger girl and I thought she would take other big girls into consideration when she picked out a bangle style bracelet. I couldn't even get it over my hand to wear. And it it's not just because I'm carrying extra weight. My hands are big even when I'm thin. I have I wouldn't have gotten that on. There's no way. Day 25 this time has got to be better than 2018. Let's take a look. All right, here it is. Day 25. Let's open her up, guys. It's a box and there's some bubble wrap in here. It looks like something made of wood. Okay. Oh, how cute is this? I'm pleased. We have a Missouri Star clock. Isn't this just absolutely adorable? There are stars in a number of different colors, rainbow, obviously, all the way around the face of the clock. It's a nice wood on the outside, just really plain, and there's room for a AA battery here, and you can hang it up. I'll admit, when I saw this part hanging out at the top of the box, I thought we were going to get an embroidery hoop, so I was a little excited about that, but this is just as nice. I love this. Okay, day 25, 2021 is light years beyond day 25, 2018. This is useful to me <laughs> and I can use it. <laughs> the last three blocks for Katrinkles are all done. I want to show you what those look like. These aren't in the right order, so forgive me for that. I don't remember which one's which. Here's one of the blocks. I do believe this was block number 12. And then here is another one. These are actually not put together into my quilt top yet, obviously. I'll probably do that sometime over the weekend or maybe next week. And I will share a picture on my Instagram and in my Facebook group. So if you want to see what that looks like when it's all done, make sure to follow me on Instagram and join the Facebook group. Also, I will probably continue to share some behind the scenes stuff with the studio over the next week as paint goes in, carpet goes in, stuff like that. But they're going to be short videos and pictures that will go to Instagram. So if you want to keep up with the progress of updates on the studio, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'll put a link to my profile in the first comment down below this video. So that's a wrap for Vlogmas 2021. I am really excited to look forward to... 2022, especially that Becca's Blocks to Better Health. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, and come on back to see how I do in 2022. See you guys all real soon. Bye.